In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your extended display in Windows 11. The first thing you want to do is, of course, connect your laptop up to your screen. You can do this via HDMI, USB-C, or if you've got a docking station like I do, I'm using the Surface Dock 2 connector. It's just going to magnetically connect, and then all the connections are going to um, connect my, my laptop up to my second screen. It'll take a second or so, and then it'll flash, and then it'll appear on both. This is great, we've now connected, but what you can see here is what's happening on the first screen is happening on the second screen. And this is called duplicate, where you're basically duplicating everything on the first screen to the second screen, which I don't think is the most productive view. I'm gonna give you a keyboard shortcut that we are gonna refer back to, the Windows key and P. If you press Windows and P, this little projection option pops up and you can quickly choose whether you wanna have your PC screen only showing the display. You could have it on duplicate, extend, or even your second display only. I use extend as my main form of, um, of screen projection when I'm connected to a second monitor, but there is an issue if you just connect, go Windows P, and then leave it like this. And I'll show you that issue now. You'd think if you wanna to get to the top of the screen here or the next screen, you'd go up, but the computer doesn't realize where it's orientated. Is it to the left? No. Is it to the right? Ah, oh, it is. But that's sort of confusing when you're trying to jump between the different screens. So what you actually want to do is press the start button, type in the word display, and then select on display settings. This is going to bring us over to our settings menu. And what we can see here is that it, it sees display number one and number two. If you want to know which display is which, you can choose to identify so it says one here and two in this corner. If you wanna choose the different options of duplicating, extending, show only monitor one or monitor two, you can do that by this drop down menu here. If you wanna change the main display, say for example, you want uh, display number two to be the main display, you wanna select on it here, then choose the option of make this my main display. What happens there is that it, essentially when you open an application, it will launch on the main display. I like keeping my main display as my laptop though. And then I'm gonna make this my main display. But you can see here, one of the issues is the orientation. The computer thinks that display number one is physically on the left and display number two is on the right, which is why when you push the mouse to the right, you'll see it pops up here. You push it to the left, pops up here. But that's not how we're set up. If we move our display or our screen number one down the bottom and then go apply, all of a sudden, we now have told the computer, hey, display number one is physically down the bottom and number two is up the top here. So if we're moving items from one screen to the other, it is a much more natural way of moving the screen. I like to actually have my display over to the right-hand side and then my second display or, or my big external monitor in front of me. So the way I usually have this set up is display number one is over to the right-hand side and then I select on apply. So if I move my computer over here, if I push to the left, you'll see I can grab things from the left, drag it to the right, and it is just a way more natural way of showing my extended displays and working with them. And then from here, once you've got this all set up, you can go back to that Windows P option, and then you, and then you can quickly choose to have your PC screen only connected. You could choose to duplicate those displays and it's going to remember the options that you'd set up in terms of um, how your computer is connected. You can go extend the display and that will give you, again, those settings that you had, it saves it. Or you can even choose to have your computer connected, but you could go second screen only. And that means the laptop screen is gonna turn off and then you're only gonna work on your, your main second display. This is great if you wanna shut the lid to your laptop and then just work on the main uh, screen in front of you. There is one caveat with that though. I'll show you what that looks like. If I shut my screen, my computer turns off if we don't change any of these settings. So let's open this guy up. Windows Hello is going to sign me in with facial recognition. We've signed in. So if you wanna work with your laptop shut and then just your second screen on, you wanna press the start button type, and I'm gonna extend my screens for now, Windows P, 
Uh, I'm just going to extend so I can actually see what I'm typing with my keyboard in front of me. I'm going to press start. I'm going to choose the option of lid. And then it's going to take me or I'm going to press start type in lid, I should say. And then it's going to take me to the control panel of change what lid closing does. If I open this up, and I can choose when I close the lid. By default, it's set to sleep. If I put this to do nothing, whether it's on battery or on power, and then I go save, I can go ahead and close that. I'm going to go Windows P, put it back to second screen only. So now our second screen only is on. And if I shut the laptop and move it over to the side, I can continue with working with, say, an external keyboard and a mouse using my second display. My laptop's on, but I've shut that display, or shut the screen. Um, and some people like working like this only on one big monitor, uh, but obviously they use a laptop and not a desktop. But for me, the best way or the most common way that I work is, of course, having two screens, Windows P. I'm going to choose to go extend. And then I have one screen over to the right. This is where I usually have my Teams chats and things like that. And then the work that I'm doing is up here in front of me. But there you go. That is how you can correctly extend the displays on a Windows 11 device. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.